In this exercise, you're going to be taking a tiny piece of your collage and redrawing it in your sketchbook. Start by critically evaluating which section you want to choose, cutting a frame to fit it. Next, go ahead and turn your image upside down so that you can use the drawing upside down technique to faithfully reproduce the image. Start with a loose pencil sketch, really getting the placement of all the objects according to what you see drawing upside down. Start with your lighter pencil and then go ahead and move to a medium pencil to block in some more details. Once you've started feeling confident about the placement of your objects, you can select the media that you're going to use and go ahead and dive right in. Here, I'm choosing to do ink for the horse. I am planning on inking out all the little bits and bobs of twine. And paper. I am definitely going to sketch in these mountains using my hatching and my cross hatching. Off to the side, I'm gonna keep my original image and I'm gonna keep using that drawing upside down technique so that I can try to really capture exactly the darkness and the lightness of the shapes. I do wanna work the whole piece at once. So coming back into the horse here, kind of adding some detail there, looking at my torn paper, and finally beginning my watercolor element of this. This is where I'm gonna get really into the colors and the shapes and the forms. Next up, I've got the abstracted background behind the horse. I'm just gonna dive around in for that. And I'm gonna actually come back to the legs and the arms and the hand a little bit later when that first coat dries. The abstract part, I'm not as concerned about faithfully reproducing it because it is a little bit more abstract. But here I'm coming back and working the hand and the leg because I really do want it to look like she's holding that horse. I'm even going to let that dry again while I work a different area of the collage and come back and keep working those details as I let that paint dry. That's going to be one of my artistic focuses. Finally, getting over here to the gold metallic boot, filling that in. I got some metallic paint for that. I'm going to come back in a little bit later and ink that. I'm really almost done here, but now is the time where I want to go ahead and take a look at the final piece, see if there's anything I want to add, like really highlighting those lines that make up the torn paper, adding a little bit of detail into the legs and the arms and the boot, things that are just going to make it pop. Um, go ahead and put a border around all of it. I'm going to do a nice thick border so that it really stands out. Finally, comparing it to the original image, seeing that it exists as both a standalone drawing and as an artistic exercise for reproducing our original image from our collab. And in closing, enjoy this fun sketchbook activity for art class this week.